Hi everybody! I am here today to talk about positivity in marketing. I know that doesn't sound like a very exciting topic, but please stick with me. Stick with me. I promise I will try to make it entertaining. This is great information and this is going to help you build your business. Do you have friends that are constantly negative Nelly? It seems like there is always some aspect of their lives that is falling apart. They're not happy. Their marriage is terrible. You know, they're just, the, nothing is positive in their life. They're always down, 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 down. And when you contact them, talk to them, they bring you down, 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 down. Do you have those friends that have no filter and that use profanity in every single sentence? And do they post it all over Facebook and Twitter and Instagram? Are they this way even in person? If you want to grow your business and network not marketing, do not, do not be these people. Don't be these people. Your potential clientele do not want to do business with someone they perceive as being negative or trashy. They want to do business with someone with a positive, happy vibe. Someone they feel they can build a relationship with and trust. This concept goes for how your profile is set up too. It's not just your business page on Facebook, it's your personal profile. We as unique presenters do so much of our business through Facebook. That is the first thing people see about us is our Facebook page. So we want to show, we want to set it up and show that we are positive people. We want to tr attract people to us that want to do business with us. So we're going to talk today about some tips on how to get your profile, how to show your clients your positive side, how to get everything on the up and up so that your business builds. So we build our business. Um, so you want to make sure that in your about me section on your Facebook page that your um, your website is clearly shown and it should be easily identifiable that you are a unique presenter. On my Facebook page I have it um, through through work, it says that I am a black level presenter with unique at, and then I put my website, www. You put your website on your Facebook page so that people know it. They're right, it's right there. They can click on it if they want to. They don't even have to talk to you. They can click on it. You also want to make sure that your profile picture is an attractive picture of you. Of you. It can be you and your best friend. But it needs to be you. You need to be the focus of your picture so that people can see your face, see who they're doing business with. They want to see who they're doing business with. So those are my first two tips. Change profile picture to a picture of your face. And then make sure your About Me section has your information in it. Make sure that if somebody wants to do business with you, they can. They can just go to your About Me and your website is right there. So let's continue. Here's some steps for attracting clients using a positive image. Show your clients your positive side. Like I said, start with a profile picture of yourself with unique products on. With unique products on. We sell makeup. Put it on your face. Put it on your face and take a picture. So start attractive profile picture. Then stop telling everybody all about your marriage problems, how you're fighting with your best friend, or how you hate the politicians in office. If you want to have an avenue to do your complaining, tell your dog, tell your best friend, tell your husband, but keep it off the business, the Facebook page that you use to do business. Simple as that. You want to become a trusted advisor. You, you want your potential clients to trust what you have to say. Show them that you have a solution to their needs or wants. Hello, we don't need lashes, but we want lashes. Don't be pushy. Just be honest, kind, friendly. You'll earn their trust and they'll want to do business with you. Once you've earned their trust, show them that you're the expert in your field by teaching them. Educate them about the products, show them different application techniques, or how to choose colors. If you don't know enough about the products, the active ingredients, what the, pro what the product's uses are, how to color match, you need to spend some time educating yourself 
so that you can show the clients that you're the expert. And if you don't feel like you're the expert right now, you can go to your sponsor, you can go to your upline. I'm sure that your uh, purple or black level presenters um, group training page has tons, has all this information in their files section. You need to educate yourself so that you are the expert on our products. Next, answer their questions, answer their questions promptly and accurately. Make sure that you're showing that you care for your clients by answering their questions promptly and accurately. If you're not 100% sure about the answer, it is perfectly okay to let them know that you're not sure but you're going to find out and be back to them as soon as possible. There's nothing worse in the retail industry than asking somebody that should be the expert on whatever it is that they're selling, asking them a question to them saying, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't that frustrate you? Doesn't that frustrate you? You go into a store and you ask somebody a question and they're like, I don't know. Don't be that person. Do not be that person. Don't be that person. If you don't know the answer, tell your client, you know what? I am not 100% sure, but I'm going to find out for you and I will be back with you as soon as possible. And then you go to your sponsor and you ask them. And if they don't know, you message your sponsor and their sponsor and you message all of them so that we all learn together if we don't know the answers. And then you get back to your client as soon as possible. You'll build their trust if you do what you actually tell them you're going to do. So once you've answered their questions and you've got their business, you close the sale, you continue to build your relationship with your clients. Continue, it's all network marketing is building relationships. It's all about building relationships. People, build the relationships. If they are your client, you build a friendship with them, a relationship with them, you are going to be their unique presenter. They have a hair lady. They have a nail lady. They have a massage lady. They have an esthetician. They need you to be their makeup lady. Their makeup lady. Mm-hmm. So build that relationship and they will keep coming back to you because you will be their makeup lady. Okay, here's some quick do's and don'ts. Do post happy, attractive profile pictures of your face. Of your face. Do not use memes or other pictures that are not you in your profile picture. Your face. Trying to do business. You want to build your business? Put your face on your profile page. Do post positive aspects of your life and business. Don't be afraid to throw in some non-selling. You've heard that non-selling unique posts. Your friends don't want you selling to them on Facebook. They don't want to read post after post about, please buy this mascara. Here's my website. They, they will be much more interested if you post a picture of your lashes and you're like, bam, look at my lashes today. I can't even believe it. Don't mention the product. They know what you're selling. Just tell them, oh, I love this new lip gloss. Look at my new lip gloss. And they'll be like, oh, Tammy, what is that new lip gloss? What color is that lip gloss? And you're like, oh, you like my lip gloss? And then you get in a conversation. But don't be pushy. Don't be pushy. Just um, put it out there. Plant some seeds in people's heads. They'll come to you. Do not post graphic or dirty memes, jokes, pictures, and definitely don't use profanity in your postings. The objective here is to portray a positive professional person. Oh, positive professional person. Oh, positive professional person. You don't want to come across as trashy. You're trying to build your business. You're trying to reach the ranks in Unique. You're trying to make unimaginable amounts of money. Be positive. Be a positive professional person. That's my new catchphrase. Do be the expert. Take the time to learn about the products and how to apply them. Do not be insecure and unknowledgeable. 
This will break the trust in your clients that they're trying to build with you. Be honest with them. And if you need a few minutes to find the right answer, then do it. Let them know. I'm going to find the answer for you and get right back to them as soon as possible. You are building the relationship and you are building the trust with this client. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, don't ruin what you are trying to build by telling them you don't know and that you and just leave it at that. You don't know? That's okay. You're going to go find the answer. Yes, these are your private social media outlets. Yes, it's social media. It's your Facebook page and it is your right to post whatever you want to on your Facebook page. It is your right. It's your page. You can post whatever you want to on it. But if you are trying to build a successful, thriving, unique business, your personal Facebook page has now also become your professional outlet your professional outlet now. You want to build, you want to get to black status, you want to make five figures a month, there's going to be, have to make some changes. So your personal page is now also your business page and it is important that you portray a positive personality, positive outlook on life. It's going to attract more people to you and the more people that are attracted to you, the more clientele you have, the more relationships you build, the bigger your business becomes. Big business, people! Big business! All right. I hope it's been helpful. Um, if you have any more questions, go to your sponsor, um, and they should help you. If they are unable to help you, go to their sponsor, um, I always say, if you go to your sponsor and they don't know the answer, make a three-way message with your sponsor and their sponsor um, so that everybody learns together um, and have a great, what time is it? Three, okay, so have a great evening. It's almost dinner time in most places in the world. Not world, in the States. Um, have a great dinner time. I love you all, girls. <laughs>